you know, you, uh, does that mean go? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. You didn't give the secret signal. It's like, yeah, we're learning secret signals this week, and this is Microcasters, and tonight we have Anna, myself, Lucas, and Christian, and we are going to talk about the upper torso of Zaytar, <laughs> and probably the entirety of Nightbird. I have questions. <laughs> Most likely. The first question is how to pronounce this. Is that is that the first question? Oh no, that, the first question was what did you do with his lower body? Oh, it's somewhere. It's it's here. <laughs> it's you've got some it. random you've got some random parts on your desk. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're on my lap right now. I was being creative. That's what I call it. Creative. <laughs> there we go. So yes, tonight we are going to go and talk about these two new um, Transformers Select figures that we have received from Hasbro Pulse. And we all got them about a week and a half ago, two weeks. Is that about right? I thought it was Feels last like week. It. Was it last week? Last I don't week? have any sense yeah, of time. Yeah, I'm pretty there. sure it was like last... Hi, about a week ago. I, we swear, got I swear it figures. was like a week ago or something like that. So, yeah. I got mine like the Thursday before last. I don't know. Or maybe you know, I would usually. Before last. I recently. Know. Got them recently. Recently. Well, that works. That works. I think we're actually yeah. kind of lucky in that respect because I've seen a lot of people that well, their <laughs> shipments have all actually been delayed. Like either one of the figures or, or both of the figures. Mine was a day later than both of yours. I was just absolutely incensed about the whole thing. It was terrible. It was awful. So these two figures are the newest, and you know we've been we've been trying to actually review most of the select figures on here. So it's just natural for us to go to these two next. And I think that both of my co-hosts here are actually very impressed by these figures, so they'll be happy to tell you all the good things about them. And then I will probably insult the figures for a little bit, and that'll be our protocol. It'll when, be a good time. When did we say that I was, uh, that I love the figure? Uh, you haven't said that. I just assume because you love everything. Mm. Oh, well, I do love them. Well, maybe so. you don't. That's interesting. No, I do. I, I, oh. just, I, I don't know. I mean. Oh, you're upset that I was assuming your feelings. I'm yes. sorry. Yes, you shouldn't. I feel bad now that my heart's broken. Are your heart's broken? Mm. Whose heart's broken? Someone's. Oh, I know whose heart's broken. The guy who doesn't have legs. No, so. give him his legs back. <laughs> That's so mean. They're busy. What? Things are doing other things. What does that even mean? <laughs> so which would you like to talk about first? The tar or Nightbird. <laughs> are, are we going to pronounce it differently each time we say Zater, Zatar, Z- oh, Zippy, Zappy? Well, I'm, I've got a weird conspiracy theory to share later, but I won't do that what? until we have um... So what what pronunciation would irk Christian the most? <laughs> oh. uh, mm. Zeter? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. It didn't irk me horribly, though. Hmm. If you call him Banana Storm, <laughs> no, <laughs> Banana Storm, no. I got it. You did you get go. that one. Uh, I say Zetar, but I don't think it's ever been pronounced by anyone in media. So, you know, it could be Zetar, like Zeta, the letter. Who knows? But I say Zetar. Yeah, I that like can be you- fine. I feel like we need to, uh, like, phone a friend. Like, let's call Peter up, and I'm sure he probably is like, well, you know, according, if you had watched Victory or whatever, like, you know, they pronounce his name there, but it's actually in Japanese, but the translation is blah, 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 blah. Like, so. that car wasn't in Victory. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm randomly throwing stuff out. I'm, I'm not actually serious. But yeah. I'm saying is, is that there's probably some type of nugget that we're not oh, aware probably. of that he probably knows about that there's like some obscure thing somewhere. Okay, oh, so drill nuggets going nugget. first. Oh, oh drill worse. guy? Okay. Drill nugget. 
All right, so yeah, if you're going to say Drill something, before he was known as Zetar, this is actually Drill Dasher. Because <laughs> yes, that's what he's that known as true. in G1. I mean, he didn't get named Zetar until name. um, much, much later when IDW featured him one time in a crowd scene. So Drill Dasher is probably more accurate for him. Yeah, so everybody was super pumped when these guys got announced because I think most fans had just kind of resigned that we would never see Power Dashers again. And I'm going to be honest and probably, like, lose everyone's confidence by saying this out loud, that I actually didn't know what Drill Dashers were when these guys were announced. I was like, what? What are those? Um, and I found out that they were some sort of Bella Wave figures. <laughs> and now I'm educated. They were another third of the male with figures. There's, you know, your childhood, these guys, yeah. and Omnibots. Yeah, the Omnibots I knew about. Like, I've known about those forever, but I never knew about these guys. So let's get straight to it then and talk about, you know. Should I <clears throat> so, also, at the same time, we could uh, review another Weapon Master that I got today, which, uh, or uh, earlier this week which is actually from Cyberverse. We can compare and contrast. The, uh, what did the you get from Cyberverse? Uh, so <laughs> um, the, the little $15 figures I got for my kid. Um, is, wait, this one comes with Starscream. So I got the little Starscream guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Got some sort so, of ma- some manner of construction vehicle, right? And then he comes with, yeah, so he comes with a little, like, you know, whatever, construction vehicle, too. that turns into stuff that he can put on, so. For a moment, a I thought concept. you were going to tell me that you had somehow secured a Chromar from Canada and did not get me one. And that's going to be very oh. upset with you. So, I actually, I know the guy that, you know, discovered that originally, and, and uh, I, I sh- totally should have. I should I should have like been like, hey, send me like a case of those things. But hopefully we'll get to order them soon. Chromar is a second power dasher, but right now we need to focus on the first one. That is that. We do. Yes. Sorry. Although so we this can't guy talk is a repeat of who again? Brunt. Optimus Prime. Brunt. Optimus <laughs> Prime. Yes. Yes. We're we're all Optimus like Prime. eventually Optimus Prime repaints. So I have, I have all of us on the inside. I have him in one of his vehicle modes. Oh, good. So, so the thing that I think is weird about his vehicle mode is, is like, so he's supposed to be like a drill tank, right? But the drill, like, like the top part, you know, kind of just um, is like goes out further than the drill, which is kind of weird. Like, there's no real way to like plug his drill bit onto the the front of the like platform thing uh, at least you have him in brunt mode is that what it's happening yeah i have him in brunt mode okay i'm sure there's probably some configuration that i maybe if i like turn this sideways i'm trying to remember what i did the other night when i got him and i was like i need to make a new tank mode for him i ended up with I, the oh, drill you know what I, could do? I could throw one of the legs away there we go that's perfect now i just need to figure out something to do with this leg i just throw this like on the side or something i don't know so and you said you made a spaceship out of him yeah i love the drill spaceship earlier that that's about as far as i got so i was trying to the cool thing these guys for me (laughs) i have to be honest these are these figures these take apart put them out together guys like they are their vehicle modes are so non-intuitive to me. Like, I can take them apart, and I just do not see a vehicle coming out of that. I have to look at the picture and just build what it shows. Because <laughs> otherwise, I just start building Frankenstein monsters and trying to convince people that I've made a road Caesar out of <laughs> my cog. Have you, have you shown that off on the show yet? Your, like, whatever monster road Caesar? Road demon. Road Demon thing? Yeah, I don't know if I have or not. He's um he's amazing. Probably the best version of Road, Road Caesar we'll ever get. <laughs> uh, except for the like three more I plan to make the next few weeks. Maybe I'll show that off in a minute. But anyway, about this guy, hi Carrie. Um <laughs> we had another she said hi in the comments. We had a face. <laughs> 
There we go. Wave. Um, we had a question asking if anyone knew how to get Chromar in the States. And we don't right. actually know how to get Chromar in the States. No. We're assuming that he'll come out on Pulse. Or really any day now. On Pulse. It, maybe maybe he's a Walgreens He's not a Walgreens exclusive. Maybe he's a Taco Bell exclusive. That's even less. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, it'll be no. fine. It'll show up on Pulse eventually, or maybe Amazon, but probably Pulse. Most likely. Yeah, so anyway, I'm talking about this guy. So yeah, Lucas has him in one possible vehicle mode at the moment on the camera. Um, honestly, like, I don't know what you're supposed to make him into. I really, I spent some time trying to get him to look as close to the um, G1 Tank mode as possible, and I just really couldn't get something that looked like that to me. <laughs> Which is okay. It's not like the G1 mode is especially impressive or anything. Well, the problem is, is that the um, this paint or whatever actually like doesn't have Chromeware on it, so that way it doesn't look like the G1. Right. Because right, every perfect. every uh, every copy I've ever seen has a bunch of Chromeware on the Voldrill part. I've never seen a copy, so I suppose it's the same for me. Every copy I've seen is very worn, worn through. You could make it your mission stuff. to search it out at TFCon. I could, but there's so many other things, newer, nicer, third-party things that I'm more interested in. Um, I didn't say buy it. I just said look for it. Oh, find it like a like a scavenger hunt. That sounds pointful. Yes. Do you actually think the only reason to go to a convention huh? is, is to buy a bunch of stuff? That is true. Did you say, did you say the word pointful as in the opposite of pointless? I did say pointful and I didn't even lose a beat. I, I just wanted to check and make sure that I was hearing right. Full of points. I'm a rare form tonight. I'm very tired. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway. Talking about the vehicle mode, it looks fine, I guess. I I don't know. I don't really have much of an opinion on these um these pop apart guys in their vehicle modes. Like I think they're super fun to play with, and I think you can build some wonderful Frankenstein monsters out of them. But I just don't really think the um alt modes are that impressive. I actually like this particular alt mode the best of of all the the vehicles that have come out or whatever, like. I, I really like them as Brunt. I think I like them more as Brunt in vehicle mode. Um, but, yeah. Hang on, I'm almost there to get the actual drill tank mode that I came up with. Okay, oh, there we go. At, Show off your configuration. Look at Christian go, except don't look at him go because he's just looking down right now. So it's not especially mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no, but, you know, the problem is, too, is, you know, and I'm kind of the same way as you, where I got really busy with work. That doesn't look bad. Oh, let me see. I like that, yeah. Okay. The only part that I can't really find a good place for is the gun. I mean, I guess I'll just kind of put it on, you know, one of the holes here, whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's a drill tank to me. I mean, it's not like great, but uh, it does the job, I think. I yeah, I I would agree. I think that that's probably the best, the best version. Mm -hmm. But better than the standard version. The key I to mean, doing it is flip. He in uh, brunt mode. This is on top, and then for this, I just kind of flip it upside uh, down so that the arm holes are in the right place to get these lined up. You know, the front ah. treads with the back treads. Otherwise, they're kind of uneven. But, and then this leg here isn't attached because it doesn't have a peg. So you can see, you know, only one of them has a peg. So I just have them attached via the turret holder by one leg. It's not perfect, but uh, it's, it's what I got. There you go. No, drill tank. I think it's cool. I think that totally works. Until I sit there and experiment for like four hours to make a monstrosity again. Well, your monstrosities are always better than my practical things anyway, so. Oh, I'm just going to make something with like 40 arms that sure. try to convince you it's a classic G1 character. You need to start troop building these things, right? Oh, jeez. I 
I could honestly like, like, so you know how I have that thing where I don't like to own two of the same mold. Um, I honestly don't see myself getting rid of this or bronze. Like as much as I usually am like, Oh, one of a bowl, toss the other away, sell it, whatever. Um, I just, I don't know. Like I like having both of them. They're fun to play with. And um, this, like once you own this head, I feel like you have to continue owning it because it's just, it's too ridiculous. It's adorable. That we have some weird cone head, tin man looking thing as a transformer head. It's great. And unlike my bronze, his head doesn't explode when you touch it. So it's really nice. Why don't you just return your bronze? I don't even know where I bought it. Oh, oh geez. That's that's an issue. Um, I think my favorite thing about these guys is that, uh, you know, every figure nowadays has to get a repaint. That's, you know, that's just how it is. But to repaint the weaponizers was a pretty tall task. I mean, you could repaint them as, you know, their normal repaints, like six gun could have been uh, six, whatever came with Metro Titan. And you could make grand and brave max versions of cog, but to bring back the power masters as that, I think is a brilliant idea. It's a, a nice way to see characters. We don't usually see. Yeah, I think so, too. It's pretty cool. And I'm, um, I think it, it works, too. Like, that. Mm-hmm. that's the thing is, is, like, it's not like it's... So, you know, my question is, is, like, I know I kind of railed on Slam Dance, right? But would you would you say, like, which do you think is better? Slam Dance or uh, Z- Zeter, Zeter, or whatever, Power Dasher guy? Zeter. Don't make me answer that. Huh? I love them both. I, I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I answered it. instantly as Eater. I I just think like okay. I like this. I like this guy and all that. Um, but I I think that this is a better remold. Yeah, okay. Zetar's better because I think Slam Dance should be tapes. Right. That that's yeah. what I'm. Yep. Fine. And in response to what Randall said, the drill does, in fact, make it a different mold. I'm totally being rational about this. (laughs) Totally right. Yeah, thanks, Randall. Thank you for enabling me, my friend. I appreciate it. From from pictures we've seen so far, I think the only one that doesn't do a great job at updating is Chromar. It's made from the Jet Dasher, which wasn't a great jet to begin with, but Six Gun is kind of like a VTOL helicopter. But, you know, like this, I'm hoping that I'm able to craft some other sort of mode out of those parts and make a more convincing jet mode for Chromar. Otherwise, Argon looks good, just long. Could probably edit him, too. I can totally I'm, see that. I'm excited for all of them. So what do you guys think about the detailing, the paint, and whatnot? I got oh, it's fantastic. Paint. I got I got damage. Oh, no. What, what I now? Just got, I, I got battle damage. I'm the only one. No, I just have some overspray and overpaint. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Bummer. So the, the only issue that I had with this with this mold with my copy is is one of the arms is just a little bit loose. Like I oh, uh, no. I uh, like tried to tighten it up. There's screws in here, um, and so I tried to tighten it up, and it's a little bit better. But um, you know, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world, but. Mine's neck is loose, but everything else is pretty tight. I'm afraid if I mess with the neck too much, his head will explode like bronze. So I'm trying not to mess with it too much. This head is crazy. I know. It's a tiny I little peg head. Through. He's like some sort of Lego reject. Right. I've heard well, that if you turn his head really around, well, it you. still has Brunt's face design on the back. Yeah. Like you're saying the back? Like this right yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you've got Brunt next to you, I think. Can you show Brunt's face plate? So, uh, so yep. that's Brunt's face plate. And... Yeah. I think it's more of a coincidence than anything else. Sorry, I heard a rumor. I, I want to see if it was Let's true. Let's find out. My Brunt's head comes apart. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's just a coincidence. Like, I don't really, I don't feel like that it's quite the same. Like, it seems to me like that Brunt's, like, faceplate is just a little bit bigger. 
yeah. like a little bit taller, you know, and, and the molding, like you can tell the molding is just a little bit different. Well, the molding is definitely different. I think it's just a design thing where it's a generic square. No, it's, it's actually the same mold. Is it really? Yeah, I'm looking at them side by side. It's the same. That's wild. No, it's not. It is too. I'll show we, you. We can agree to disagree. No, you can agree to be wrong, and that's okay, <laughs> but. I am uh, abroad, so I don't have my brunt with me right now. Hold on, I don't hold have on. a dog in this fight. For you. Hold on. I got this with my special action feature. Mm. It's the same piece. Maybe. They're it looking very like carefully. It. It, looks, it looks like it. Yeah. Hey, you, use remolding wisely. You remember that time maybe, that they... Maybe it is. Remember that time they took Metroplex's crotch and turned it around and it was Fort Max's crotch? No remolding whatsoever, it's just backwards. Good stuff. Yeah, it's actually um it's actually one of three pieces, it looks like, kind of. <laughs> Interesting. Um, but yeah, it, it's the same piece. I don't know how that happened, why it happened, if it was intentional, if it was effortful, if it was lazy, even. If it was just like, we can change half of his head out and just flip it around. Well, I think it's probably lazy. just I think that's smart. back. I, th I think it was probably just something to add, like a little extra detailing, you know, and they've got it. Why not use it? That's possible. That's my thought. Or you could just think of it as being the same head with a different part. I don't think you should think that way. That's dangerous for you. Why? Oh, you're right, because then I'll replace it. It's a totally different head. All right, replace it. It's gone. Goodbye. So what do you guys think? Get him? Don't get him? I say get um, him. I, I would say get him, personally. So I, I think of all I like of them the better than Bryant. Of, of the selects, you know, and we kind of, I, like, I feel like the selects in general have been kind of hit and miss uh, with them that I, I like this a lot more. Um, so it's definitely like one of the better ones. ones. <clears throat> yeah. So I, I would you like to own fun the Transformers that have a lot of personality and no, like, actual story, then he's great. <laughs> That's a fair assessment. This figure has a lot of personality. It really does. That goofy Ted Man face is just ridiculous. But then, who is Zeter? What have they done? Maybe we'll see him on the show. Are they important? Who knows? Hey, we get Power Dashers again. I never thought we'd be able to say that. Yeah, I never thought so either. So hopefully we'll see in a couple weeks with uh, nice. either Chromar or Aragon or both. And we just need the Omnibots, too, right? Omnibots are coming. I feel it. Oh, they got to be coming. They got cards. Yeah, with the cards, I, I distinctly feel that they are on the table. Yeah. Well, you never know, like, though, because it's like one of those things, like, I'm sure Rick will tell you about, like, the zillions of figures that were planned but in, did not end up happening. So um, We'll get them eventually. You know, Ape Face and Snapdragon were planned for Titan's Return. And that was, you know, two lines ago. And here they come. Here they come. Here they come. And that's not enough for us. We get them eventually. eventually. Robot? I love it when you're a robot, Anna. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you're welcome. I was trying. Um, no, I said, uh, I don't even know what I said. Whatever. Moving on. You want to move on? The, the star yep. of the show? Night turd. Night bird. Night van. Night limo. Uh, night limo. How about that? She's there long. Is, That'll work. There's neighbor's car mode or long thingy with wheels. It's something. It's something. It actually looks I, good. I don't know what it is, but I think it looks nice. Right. I don't think we actually talked about Chromia on the show, did we? I think we like yes. threw Chromia in. We, we did because okay. um, we did like we did the, the entire wave. wave, like, yeah. and it was like one of those things where 
we gushed over like everything else and like and then we're like and it's chromia i so. remember yes i remember that being like and it's chromia and if we talk about it anna will start complaining so let's move on <laughs> hey that's the truth of it right yeah it's true <laughs> So, so now we got Nightbird. Are you going to complain about Nightbird, or do you actually like her? Absolutely, I'm going to complain, but I also like it, so it's oh, all well. fine. Yay! I so, think that the the vehicle mode would look really cool if it wasn't such a stupid looking vehicle mode. I think it the vehicle detailing. mode looks fine. Like I like, I don't know. I I really love purple and black. Like you know. Oh yeah. Cool. I need uh, some purple and black are like great together. Like, it's I'm a really sure good well. deco. It's, just, it's so much blank black panels. They're all painted, so they're all glossy and nice looking, which is awesome. I think my light's kind of doling that up, but they're very glossy painted black panels. They just need something else. But I think Reaper will come to the rescue there. Um, yeah, that's a vehicle mode. So, I think it looks pretty nice, though. So, I, I will say... In, in my opinion, I know we're kind of getting ahead of myself here, but this is by far my favorite version of, like, all of these Finbot molds. Like, I think the colors on this, I mean, plus I love the fact that it's, like, painted, but um, I, like, I think this mold works a lot better than the, whatever, the other mold that we got, like, four of them, you know? Like, I like this more. My problem is, is like Chromia is so bland just because it's like all this blue and, and whatever. Like, whereas the other Finbots, like, I like the colors better on those. Uh, but like Nightbird, I mean, it's this cool, like, black and purple. So I actually like this one the best. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. Like, it actually does. The paint and the detailing is really good on it. And um, it's definitely the better version of this mold versus the original moon racer at least i want to say it's better i want to say it's better so bad it's better just barely like it does as many things wrong as it does right but it's a little better i mean i think that my only real complaint about this is the fact that it's like i mean you can totally see the you know the legs under here you can totally see the uh, on the back of the car mode, like, you know, the hands are just kind of hanging out. They are. So, like, that, that's kind of annoying, but otherwise, like, I, I think this works. So, I guess I the do. thing is, whereas Dieter is a repaint of a really good figure that we all liked, this is a repaint of a mediocre figure that we all forgot about really fast into a much nicer looking version. Oh yeah. yeah. She, this one's infinitely better. I think. I mean, I'll give you that. Like, you know, that that's one thing the, um, when they repainted the blur mold, like 5 million times, um, in Titans return, I didn't care because I really I like that mold a lot, um, but yeah, th this one's it is not a great mold. So having it a million times is not as much fun. I would like to pretend this is the end of it, but it probably isn't. I I'm really nervous yes. because well, okay, so here's my like here's one of my conspiracies. I didn't get to the other one, which is for the best, but. One of my conspiracies is that since the card game started, Flame War has gotten two cards. Oh. And I think she will get a figure soon, because specifically she was in Siege 1. And I think that even though there should be a new figure for her, because she needs a nice new motorcycle mold, I think they'll probably just make it another Selects and make it another one of this damn mold just to make me mad. <laughs> I don't know. They could do a motorcycle mold and, re and make a lot of figures out of it. They could do... Oh, that would be great. Uh, you know, flare up. Motorcycle. I love that. So uh, I think it would be kind of neat. On RC. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it would be really neat to do a motorcycle and then do a repaint of an RC. Like the Prime. Like uh, Prime. Yeah. Prime RC. Like, because, we, you know, we've gotten a couple RCs now and it'd be kind of fun to get a different RC. 
Motorcycle RC has a card too. So the same conspiracy theory could. Hmm. Yeah, those were like wave one though. Yeah, I know. So Flame War was in wave one too, but also in wave three. So that's good. Yeah. But conspiracy theory over. We're talking about this figure right now. So what's noteworthy about it is that, you know, it's the chromium mold. It, there's nothing different about this RZ-er except for the head. That is the big change. Um, so this is, does not have the same head as Chromia. However, it does have the same head as the 30 repaint that was done in Legends. The, the Japanese Sniper from a few years ago. It does have the same head as that. So is it the say, same head or is it does it it's just that nightbird's head? Pictures that I have seen, because I do not own that figure. Lucas is trying to find it so they can I, make I was gonna say, I, actually, I own the figure, but I it's it's sealed, so I I'm not gonna bother oh, okay. I own it too, but it's far away from me. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure from the photos I've seen that it's the same exact head. That would be really it doesn't weird. bother me because I don't own that figure, so I don't care. But for other people, it might matter. So, uh, Ron in the chat was mentioning about the fact that there's no ninja weapons, which I agree that that's crappy. I made one. Uh, there, well, there you go. Yeah. See? It's <laughs> a a little little yes. did you know. There, well, there we are. So, I made one. Sh Sorry. Shot down, shot down right there. Um, but. but uh, the original, uh, the original Throwing Thirty mold. Did that come with any additional, or was it just like the same the weapons? That had? The original one, or the Nightbird the throwing, one? The Nightbird one. Yeah, she came with a uh, new Psy. Oh, okay. Yeah, she did. Also, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the chest piece of Nightbird is translucent plastic that's been painted over. That's so weird. I've got her in front of my light, and I can see that, and it's uh pretty bizarre that's random yeah it annoys me with that uh that crotch piece or whatever because it, it for mine at least it comes off pretty easily so mine too in yep, fact i'm well. surprised she has it right now now that i looked at it but she does she has it great it came off like eight times while i was transforming it what a weird piece to make detachable i mean i guess when you're remolding you know, make make yeah. whatever work, but it's bizarre. Well, the same thing happened on my Chromia. Oh, bummer. Yeah, yeah Chromia was remolded. Oh, I, I see what you're from the original mold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I will no, say, I agree. <clears throat> this is the second premium figure I've gotten recently. I'm calling them premium figures, exclusive, whatever, that has had a problem because mine... For whatever reason, mine in car mode, the front part of the car doesn't tug in. And, like, no matter how hard I try to force it, no matter how many videos and references I check, it's not going to go without breaking it. And then that on top of the fact that my reflector didn't actually have the hole in my butt, so I can understand that. Those two things, those two things bummed me out, bummed me out a little bit. But yeah, I probably wouldn't have this figure in its car mode very frequently anyway. I doubt It'll probably be in robot mode with some random ninja weapons I find laying around. Why can't yours go to car mode? It just, it doesn't peg in in the front. Oh. I mean, There's, like, just a little bit of, I don't know, like, mismatch <clears throat> where it doesn't click in. I looked around. I don't, I don't know if anyone else having the problem, but... I can't find a way to fix it, which is fine. It's not a big deal. It's just a little frustrating that, you know, right after getting my precious, precious reflector, I was so excited about and finding out that it had a flaw. I got another figure that has a little bit of a flaw. It's very sad. Again, it's not a big deal because it really looks like you can't even tell because it's all so black, as Christian put it, all such like glossy painted black that you can't even see that it's not actually pegging in. But I know. I know what's wrong. <laughs> I guess there's a benefit to it being basically monochrome. <clears throat> so it haunts me. But that's okay. It's not so bad. That's pretty okay. So yeah, no ninja weapons. That's a bummer. Should have came in ninja weapons. The 
Chromia gun does nothing for it, um, other than just kind of be there. I actually have my sword on the backpack right now, just because I don't even see the point of having her hold it. Um, oh, mine has really loose legs, just to, to get that out there. Um, the legs on mine are fine. Nice and wobbly. Mine are quite tight. Mine are wibble wobbles. Yeah, mine, mine, are, mine are fine. Yeah, which I guess, like, I guess in the end, really, this is, like, a normal amount of issues with a retail toy. It's just putting it in that premium cardboard box makes us feel like it shouldn't have those issues. Yeah, but the price is the same. Right, right, exactly. The price is the same. It's just a retail toy in a cardboard box. I mean, all, all of the figures are going to be coming in cardboard boxes here pretty soon. Like, what, next year? Or when was that? The oh, yeah. Got to get rid of the fancy packaging. No, I think they'll have cellulose instead of plastic. I think it'll be good. Cellulose? It's made from plants. You can see through it. Hmm. Watch me. Well, there we go. Yeah. Christian's calling it. It's sure. what I do. I made reflector happen, so. It's true. Yes, you totally did. Yep. True. Okay. Anyway. The um, force of my will alone. Yeah, so. Anyway, the figure's not that good, but the paint job is really good. The, the head is an import from another figure, but also fine. It's very accurate. Um, I think it captures the character pretty well aside from the whole alt mode thing. Um, and it looks good. It's just, you know, bad base mold means that it's not really that great of a figure in the end. I think that mm -hmm. if you want to get one version of that mold and you're looking for the perfect version of that mold, I think Nightbird is it. So that's yep. the one I would get. Like if you're looking for, what do we have? Six versions, similar versions of that, that mold, like that, I would get that burden. I agree. And yep. one additional reason that that'll happen for you is that if you got one of the other ones, it would make you want the other ones to make the set. Because you'd be like, well, I have, you know, Moonracer. Why don't I have the other three? But with Nightbird, it's like, well, who the hell is this? She doesn't have any friends. So she doesn't need friends. Well, but she got a cat friend in your ad for our show today. So That's true. We'll she did get friend. a cat friend. I guess non-sentient robot things can have friends too. Do you, uh, Anna, do, do you have the other female combiner? The, um, gosh, what's it called? What, what, Victorian? What, um, no, the, or was it Victorian? Is that it? There's Victorian and Megatronia. Yeah, Victorian. Do you have Victorian? The watermelon print one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you like that one? It's okay. I, I'm it's just okay. curious, like, if you had to, if you could only have one female combiner, Victorian or whatever this junk is, whatever they call this yeah. thing. Victorian, because there's more molds I like in that. I just didn't like the color of Victorian, really. I like, I oh, like, see, I, I love the colors. Like, I don't like that, whatever that green color is. Like, that's what I don't. Like, I wish that they would have done it more of a neon kind of green or neon, like a bluish or, or something like that. But I don't Thanks, know. Thanks, fans. The fans voted for that color scheme. Sure. Are we sure? Actually, oh, they did, and then Hasbro took it to an extreme. The only also, thing I fact, don't like... The, what's the character that has the dead-end mold from that set? It's uh, I think it's Trick Diamond in the Megatronia set. It has a Nightbird head. Yes, that is true. There is a Nightbird Since head. Since we're talking about Nightbird. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. No, I think that the only thing I don't like about that set really as a combiner is that a hot spot isn't a very good torso. So... How blinded we were at the time. We were like, oh, Hotspot's going to be the best torso. Look how stable. Hotspot and Groove, let's do it. Did, did Hotspot Everyone. even, was Hotspot out at the time when we voted on it? I can't remember. Maybe, maybe just barely. 
Yeah. Not enough wow. for us to know. We did not know the truth. If we did, we would have voted for Silverbolt. Right. Yeah. But that's then for it would have sure. been annoying because we would have had like how many combiners are based on that silver bolt mold? Hey, it's the best one. That's fine. I mean, it is. How it many is combiners are based on the? How many combiners are based on Hotspot? More. Well, because yeah. yeah. Hotspot Bruticus G two Bruticus, Victorion Megatronia, Thunder Mayhem Ruination. Seven, and then if you want to do Unite Warriors, Bruticus is eight. And Silverbolt is technically one, two, three, four. Silverbolt, G two Silverbolt. Um, Computron body scattershot. Computron. Two Computrons. Yeah. Technically, um, if you if, if you're counting the uh, Betatron. Mm, okay, Betatron, Predicus. <laughs> Uh, give me another one. You might worst spear on if you want to do that too. Then Hunger is not a remold, but based on the same engineering. So you got Abominus and Snap Trap or um, Piranicon, whatever. So nine. So there you go. The Piranicon edges it out. Yeah. So there's more of that one. Although, well, how, how many did I get to on, Brut- on the Hotspot? Did I get to eight? eight seven. then seven because then you get uh inferno from power of the primes which was eight. Oh yeah that's true so eight to nine a lot yeah. of times you know yes, they didn't that is use true. a lot of times motor master so you no, know good reason you know what kind of annoys me is is now a siege do you wish that they hadn't released an inferno you know and they probably had a planned or whatever right but that they hadn't released we get a better one power of the primes because yeah like we could get a a better one i don't know if they hadn't released inferno and power of the primes then i wouldn't have six different versions of it for all the reaper labels characters so you know it's funny uh so peter peter was showing off that he got one uh for his birthday right and i'm like why are you and then i i didn't realize that he was the same as you on his quest to you know, complete his, you know, six, you know, whatever repro label guys. Inferno, Pyro, Fire Chief, Heat Wave, and Hosehead. I have five. There you go. That's a lot. That's a lot that you have there. And it's such a fantastic mold, too, so. Oh, I agree that Extra Charm is a hot spot mold, but I don't know if we want to go down that rabbit hole, Ron. Ooh, we could no go combiner, down that rabbit hole. There's no combiner ports in it, though. Sorry, like, fighting it. So okay, I'm so, say so eight and a half to by, nine. Then how about that? Ectotron is by far the best use of that mold, though. If you're going <sighs> to consider it. what? Yes. Whatever. I'm going to turn it off now. If, you, if you're, if yeah. you're, and you're we're, we're overruling you on this one. Ectotron's yeah. amazing. Whatever. Whatever. He's so good. The vehicle mode is cool. All of it's cool. The robot mode doesn't look good to me at all, but the vehicle mode the is cool. The only thing that wasn't cool is that mine didn't come with a ladder, but Luke is I don't know that. what you're talking about. This looks I don't amazing. understand why you're holding a mediocre toy and acting like it's special. I can't even talk to you right now. <laughs> Seriously. I love this show. I mean, look at this. He has, like, his little goggles and everything. He's got a little Ghostbuster suit. I mean, come on, Anna. You seriously? I mean... I don't know. Next thing you're going to tell you know, me that Ghostbusters it. wasn't a good movie. And then I'll just have to decide. I was more. like, I was like 32 or 33 before I saw Ghostbusters. <laughs> I think the only thing that's weird to me is, is that I didn't realize it was a comedy. Like, you know, cause I saw it when I was a little kid. So. Oh yeah. You appreciate it as different things at different times in your life. Right. Right. No, I watched the cartoon as a kid, but I never saw the movie until it was recent. I saw it before I saw the new one, at least. That's what I'll be doing on Halloween. That's what I do on most Halloweens. I watch Ghostbusters. That's a good good tradition. So, Nightbird. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, I I guess we're not really... If you you want... If you need a Nightbird and you don't have the LG one... 
get it. I kind of like this one about the same as the LG one, but that may just be me. No, I, I, I think you're right. I think it's about the same. I, I think that, like, the LG version is a lot more expensive. It's, like, probably twice as much. So I would just spend the 20 bucks on this one if you want a Nightbird, so. However, yeah, it's nice that you this don't... One... Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. I was just going to say, if you somehow don't own a version of that um, RC mold, then that RC mold is probably objectively better than this Chromium mold. I was going to say something similar, except if you want a Nightbird that doesn't look obviously like RC, then this is this one. I mean, yeah. But that doesn't look obviously like Chromia. It just looks like this stupid backpack lady. Yep. I feel like Cut off the backpack, want, it's very nightbird If that. you want to get yeah, a version of that RC mold, you should get RC. Like, that figure... Oh, you should get some Lee. I mean, I, I know, you know, it was great that we got Headmaster RC, but, like, that RC mold is, is great. I love it. Yep, it's way better. Hasbro or Takara, pick one. I've had both. Mm -hmm. RC's cool, but the version I want of it is definitely the Chun-Li. It's super cool. Hello, Street right. Fighter. Yeah, um, so I agree with Ron. I would love to see a DeLorean, uh, Hasbro do a transforming DeLorean, so... I don't really? know if that's going to happen. Hasbro but... customer support wants to see one too. What? I talked to them. I talked to them about it one day. <laughs> what, are you just like randomly calling up Hasbro customer support? No, I had to contact them, them to see if they would replace my Ectotron that was missing the ladder. And they're like, oh, oh this is so cool. I wish there was a Jurassic Park Jeep. And I was like, yeah, I wish there was a DeLorean. She's like, oh, man, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. So anyway, that's my little story about that. So I'm wondering if if the transformer, like the support lady or whatever, right, just says that all the time to like people that call her in. Yeah, you know, maybe. to be like, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. Although Those are the chat, so who knows? I, I do agree with you that that would be very cool to get a DeLorean. I think getting like a Batmobile and a DeLorean would be, and it maybe like a Night Rider kit car would be. So and some the of those like a bucket list. And a mystery machine. Oh, God, that would be, yeah. And the 18 okay. van. Yeah. The kit yeah. would be good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that um, that custom mystery machine iron hide that was going around for a while was so fantastic. Yeah. That would be so cool. Oh, hi, Tony, by the way. Tony said um, hi in the chat. Say hey, hi, Tony. Tony. What's up? So, yeah, yeah, I think I agree with with Christian, if you don't have a Nightbird and you want a Nightbird in your collection, get this. Do you remember, though, that you're basically paying $20 for a one-episode reference character? She was also in a BotCon comic where a horde of her murdered Daniel and Wheelie, so if you hate Daniel and Wheelie, you can get their murderer now. Yeah, and that, that has value to it. It does. Added well, value. And I feel like, you know, Miss One Per Character, that you need to, like, find all the obscure characters you can to be like, oh, well, I'll get the mold so that it can be a Nightbird and a Zadar and a whatever else. Zeter. Zetar. Jeez. Can't have a Zeter long enough. There's no Z. It's Zetar. I'm loving it. I want to say, though, that I didn't actually own this version of the mold before i only had the um the female autobots and i didn't have the chromia and the fact that this doesn't sit like flush with her leg it just goes off to the back that drives me insane i want to fix it so bad a little bit more so it it hooks in and it doesn't yes oh drives me crazy it looks so stupid etched back like that see yeah, i like she it does better. have your beloved ankle tilts yeah. Yeah, she does make the yeah. tilt, and that's great. It makes her pose better. I, I don't but know. I, I actually kind of like the way the legs are better on this, like with them just being on the back <laughs> rather than just being a stupid. Well, although I, I will say that I probably would not enjoy the mold as, as much if I got a copy like yours. <laughs> it's it's tilting and falling. It doesn't transform right. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, it's alright, Nightbird. You're not supposed to transform anyway. You could call up Hasbro support. You should do that, Anna. 
and then you can give them suggestions too. Yes, I will tell them that they should take. Oh, I can't even come up with anything awesome. When it gets passed up the line and we get a DeLorean in six months, you can be eating those words, pal. I, I, I will say it's like it, it turns out that, that, you know, this is how Christian gets all this stuff made is, is that, you know, like the uh, the previous toy, it's like you were calling Hasbro tech support like a year ago. And you're like, hey, by the way, you should make a toy version of Reflector. And they're like, all right, that's gold right there, Jerry. Hey, I'm a shareholder. They do have to listen to me in some capacity. Oh, fantastic. I'm sure they do. Hey, um, mine's waist just came off. <laughs> what a surprise. There, there you go. So. I fix it. Hey, so, yeah, well, at I least mean, the ankles have not he said, So he said, Zeter, that he's a go. Like, if you if you want to have should buy him. She also pronounced it name not like a dumb person <laughs> i'm so happy Jeez, I, I don't know why i put up with you guys week after week <laughs> i just got to call it dumb person on air that's so great <laughs> and then we said nightbird is probably a no-go unless you just need a nightbird in your life no i think it's it's a it's a definitive yes on nightbird so and what? the one thing about Nightbird that I will say is, is at least you have not broken the ankles. Whatever. <laughs> Your ankles. Yeah. Oh. It, it, at, least, at least there's no glue on the ankles there. Oh, shut up. That happened it's once, a, and it's a commonly a breakable finger. You guys live in the same city. I live thousands of miles away. No one's going to break my ankles. You guys live <laughs> in the same place. That's a real threat. It's, it's not like the same. It's not like a bunch of people have had the same break as me on that figure or anything, Lucas. No, they have. I'm not. What I'm saying is, is that that particular figure, um, which is the the fans project Dino Gals, um, that their ankles commonly break because fans project made them like trash. Whereas this yep. is well made. The ankles are pretty well made. They'll at least hold up. And so they're not going to break. So $20 toy is not going to have breaking ankles and it has ankle tilt. That it does. It's not as interesting, but that's okay. I have problems with the Dino Gals get slashed. I have problems with the Dino Gals too anyway, so it doesn't matter. No. But if you want an ankle tilt, get this guy. I guess his ankles are awesome. Yeah. He does have great ankles. They're blocky. And the only way I can ever pose this figure is screaming. Because it's just like what he does. Uh, yeah, right? That is just, that's what my brush doing over there. Oh, wait, no. He's killing Super, um, oh, we promise. Super Cog. Oh, no. Oh, maybe, Anna, should we do Microcasters live at TF Expo next year? Yeah, if we can all three be there. Maybe. No uh, guess. Just us, being our yeah. weird selves. You're going to send our fans to sleep after our show with this in their brains? See, everyone, this is how you should do your cog. This is his ultimate mode. Actually, I do think that's very cool. He kind of sort of impersonates Road Caesar a little bit need, by wearing cars. You need that some type of chest plate, though. Like, that's really the thing that's missing. I spent a lot of time digging around trying to find something I can make a chest plate out of. I couldn't yet, but I will. But yeah, he has cars for leg warmers. Does, it's very important. Does the Zaytar, like, chest thing, does that plug into that? <laughs> I couldn't get it to. Hmm. Or at least you get a cool become it. brave devastator chest plate. Perfect, yeah. perfect. I, I just, you just encouraged me to buy a KO. I'm so proud of you. I like that you're <laughs> like, buy this KO just for like one little part from it. Yes. No, but if anyone has any cool ideas, so I can make this even more ultimate, even more like Rome Caesar in my own mind, let me know. This is the best already. So I'll just wait till you see the one that I'm going to make out of God Bomber. It's going to be great. Amazing. 
So All I right. think we have been done for like half an hour. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you what, no one else is going to have a tour review of these two that lasts an hour. It's true. It ends up talking about weird, like, warmer cog. And we can only snipe at each other so much longer. Right. Exactly. With our weird inside jokes that right. no one else will understand. That's yep. true. Yeah. Hey, at least so. we didn't talk about Sprainer tonight. I was thinking about bringing it up, but that's okay. We got Banana Storm in there, too. and <laughs> <laughs> I really tried to hold it in. Oh, God. All right. Well, that's enough. All right. Uh, have a good night. And then tomorrow, I, we, I think we should be doing Ask My Wallet on, uh, uh, as far as I know. So that's Wednesdays at 8 o'clock uh, Central, 9 o'clock Eastern. And then we've got Rick's show um, on Friday nights. And then also, like, if you guys haven't checked it out, there's a new uh, podcast that we just debuted a couple weeks ago that uh, Paul is doing called TF Talk Weekly, where it is a uh, it's pretty much an audio only show, but we're throwing it up on YouTube as well. Uh, But it is a really neat show. And what he does is he kind of goes through all the news for the week and kind of covers just uh, various segments and, and whatnot. So, uh, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, so that it goes up on Monday nights and what else we got? Uh, the regular TFLP show, of course, on mm-hmm. Sundays at noon. So, and, uh, we're going to have a fun one this week. I'm going to be excited cause I'm going to trash some masterpiece. So, and I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, I have no idea what we're doing next week on this show. Find out by watching us. Yeah, right. No yeah, we'll we'll have a, a, a vague uh, post about it. Um, you know, Tuesday afternoon, right? It won't be vague. It'll be very obvious. Oh, hey, do you have, hey that. Christian? That's do you have the out. number for a Hasbro tech support? No. I'm assuming you have them on speed dial. Well, no, turn, I don't chat with them. Out. I don't call them. Tony wants to know. You assumed you had. Don't you have John Morden on your speed dial? Dude, I wish. <laughs> so. No, I only yeah. chat for support. I don't call them. Okay, yeah. So I think if you would, if you go to Hasbro Pulse and there's like a chat, contact us somewhere. Nope. Nope. You gotta no. go to Hasbro Customer Care because they took away Pulse's chat. Okay, so Hasbro oh. Customer Care. What like is that? Where's that at? Hasbro.com. Hasbro.com. Slash customer dash care. What a strange idea. Hasbro.com. Now you guys are an advertisement. Do you know? Yeah. Can you like add a comment for Tony to, with the link? No. Just go look it up. Okay. Apparently Christian wants you to Google it or something. Jeez, Christian. God. Some You're of watching us, us on the internet. Some Look, some of us don't have time for that because they're watching shows like this. Okay. So we're trying to be you. informative. So, okay. All right. I think that I think that put it. Oh, we're almost over an hour, so we got to go. So I'm getting there, guys. I like that. All right. Oh, I like that too. Bye.